What Councilman James knows and what everyone in this room knows is if a child is experiencing trauma in a home or in a neighborhood, that trauma comes to school. Metro police say violent crime is up this year in Louisville, and as many of the council members and school officials know, that impacts kids. I see almost daily where a young person's been shot and are killed in our community. That's why Councilman David James would like to see the relationship between JCPS and LMPD grow. Right now, Metro Police contact school officials when a student is involved in a domestic violence incident, but not in other cases like shootings. We have children that are living in survival mode and, and, and you know, they witness things that most kids never see their entire life. Everyone at this meeting seemed to agree that that trauma carries over and can affect behavior in the classroom. What would kick in the next day in school for a student or at any level? A rep for JCPS explained that they have a three-tiered approach to deal with students in need of behavioral and or mental support. Students with the most need would meet with mental health counselors, although district-wide there are only 18. What can we do? How can we do it better? Is there a way the city can help? With scarce resources in the school's budget, the district hopes to work with the Metro Council to address those concerns. And Councilman James says as they enter their own budget hearings next month, they will keep that in mind. Being able to address the mental health needs of those children is very important. Today, JCPS officials were also supposed to talk about revisions to the district's code of conduct, but they actually ran out of time. However, council members invited them to come back next month to discuss those topics. Reporting live at City Hall, I'm Morgan Lentis, WLKY News.